So first we need to determine the radius of the electron circular path. Now recall that as an electron is moving inside of a magnetic field, it will move in a circular path. That allows us to set the centripetal force equal to the magnetic force. If we expand on that, we get that the centripetal force is the mass times the centripetal acceleration, and the magnetic force is the charge times the velocity times the magnetic field. If we further expand that, we get that the centripetal acceleration, we can replace that with v squared over r. And if we cancel the v's on both sides, we're left with mv over r is equal to q times b. And then we can cross multiply and put r to the other side. Next, we need to use the angular momentum formula. And for circular paths, we can use the equation L is equal to mvr. Now we're going to go ahead and make a substitution so that we can get L is equal to q times b times r squared. Now we can go ahead and solve for r and we can go ahead and plug in the numbers that were given. Remember that the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And we'll get the radius is 0 0.05 meters. Now, in order to solve part B, we're going to once again use the angular momentum formula. And we're going to solve for the velocity. So recall that the radius was 0 0.05 meters. And now we have all the necessary information to plug it into the formula. Recall that the mass of an electron is nine is approximately 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. And solving for that, we'll get a velocity of about 8.78 times 10 to the 6 meters per second.